Okay, hey guys, I haven't talked to you at all in this video so far, but it's now 10 o'clock. Had a really productive morning, but I still have a lot to do today, so I'm just gonna take you guys along with me um, today and maybe in the next few days of this week, me just trying to get my life together. Um, but right now, I have to run a few errands. I have to go get my eyebrows done. I hope they're open. They should be, but I'm gonna go get these brows sorted. And then I have to go to Staples to print off. I really wanna print off um, a template for uh, the next two months just to, do some planning we'll talk about it later in the video as to why but yeah i'm gonna go do that and then i have to come home make a grocery list and then we have to go back outside to go grocery shopping but anyways i will take you guys along with me for that this morning as you saw i got up relatively early like seven o'clock i washed my hair and braided it it's been a long time since you've seen my hair but it's grown a lot in the last few months and i'm really happy with my routine so maybe i'll give you an updated wash day routine in the future but yeah that's it so far i am like I said, filming on my new Canon V10. I will insert an unboxing portion sometime in this video. But yeah, I actually really like it. Again, this is like the first time me filming on it thus far, but I think I really like it. Um, but yeah, let's go run these errands. Um, and yeah, just wanted to pop in, say hello. Let's go. Staples right now, and I'm looking for a calendar that I can plan the next two months on. I was gonna print it out, but I'm thinking maybe I can find like a whiteboard or something. So let's go look. I think I'm gonna go with this one because there's two months. Let me see if I can find some cute dry erase markers. All right, I got my calendar. Uh, I'm gonna head to the West Indian shop. Um, I really want to get some plantain chips. So I'm gonna go do that. Even though they're so expensive these days. Growing up they were not this much, but the lighting sucks. So I'm just gonna head to the shop and I'll see you guys when I get home. Okay, so I made it home from my errands. I got my eyebrows done. They look so much better. Um, and then I went to Staples and I was going to print off the calendars, but then I ended up deciding just to get like a whiteboard and I got one that has like one month on the back and then it has two months on the other side, which is perfect for what I need. So just so that I can have everything at a glance. Um, so I'm gonna plan all that stuff out later on in this video, which means later on today. Um, and then like I was I think I was saying in the clips at the store I was going to get some dry erase markers But then I ultimately decided ultimately decided not to because I do have some so did that I'm now home Obviously, I'm going I made myself a cup of coffee um, My curé that usually makes Many appearances in previous videos is actually broken. Um, it's like still working, but it's very finicky. We still, we need to get a new one desperately. So I've just been having dis, um, disposable. I've just been having instant coffee and it's actually pretty good. I've been having the Nestle Espresso Gold or something like that. And it's actually really good. So yeah, but right now I'm gonna make a grocery list because I need to get some stuff for the week mainly fruits and stuff just because my dad cooked this weekend and it's actually pretty good so i'm gonna just get all that done and then yeah we'll go from there head to the grocery store i also realized because today is monday 
there is a new episode of Back to the Bar with Christine Kelly out. So I'm gonna probably listen to that while I'm in the grocery store. So I'll probably just like download that and then listen to that. Yeah, I have a lot of podcasts to get caught up with actually today. So I'm gonna do that. Oh wow, and it's, oh, it's an hour long. Cool. So I'm gonna do that. I'm going to, I actually might even start listening to it while I make my grocery list because I make my grocery list on my phone. And then, wow. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. grocery store so i figured i'll show you guys a little i got pretzel thins because i feel like i crave these randomly once or twice a year i got our favorite uh torcido chips like nacho chips by uh capasa the unsalted version made good granola balls i love these i got the strawberry kind two bagels which is probably random but i always go to the bulk section to get these because i don't really eat bagels enough to eat a full pack in enough time so i usually just go to the bulk get like one or two so i got those also with the bagels they're so much cheaper i think those only came out to a dollar 70 and they're freshly baked so i got some more peppermint tea and then i got some apples pink lady are my favorite so I got four of those. I got some green grapes. I actually got peaches because they were on sale. So I'm gonna wait till they like soften up a little bit. I think those are gonna be so good. And then I also got frozen bananas. I love having like, like using these to make um, this protein shake that I make. Um, and then I got some cereal, some honey nut Cheerios. I got the Nature Valley peanut butter biscuits. Me and my mom love these. They're so good. Um, I got some oat milk, vanilla oat milk. I got regular lactose free milk. And then I got this Quaker high protein uh, oatmeal. I actually love this. I love Quaker pro like oatmeal. But the fact that they have high protein one is so good. And then I add extra protein powder in it. And then I got some coffee creamer. I just tried this new flavor, vanilla toffee caramel. So got that and that was it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this away, eat some lunch, and then maybe I'll do a bit of a life update and we'll continue with our productive day. Okay, hello, we are back. I came back from the grocery store like you saw, put away my groceries, but I figured I would do, I don't know, a bit of a life update because when you're seeing this, I'm not sure when I'm gonna be posting this. It's been months since I've posted a video on my channel, like probably over six months. So I figured I would do a bit of a catch up life update because a lot of things have changed. So anyways, I think the last video I posted was in the beginning or like middle of January per maybe the beginning of February and basically I'd started a brand new job at the very beginning of this year and starting this year I was so on it I was motivated I was productive I had my schedule I was working out I was doing the whole thing and then work got really busy like probably as soon as I hit a month at my job things started happening i had projects i had shoots to go to i had locations to take photos of i had so much work to do and it honestly has not let up since after 
So for when February started, I had like a month and a half stint of being super, super busy, especially with like work stuff. Um, and then when it finally ended in like beginning of like April, I want to say maybe, I ended up getting ill. Like I got sick for not a long time, but I ended up getting like once that busy period ended, I ended up catching like, well, not a bad cold, but I ended up catching a cold. And so I was sick for a few days. And so I had to get take time to recuperate from that and then rest. And then it was busy again. And all that's to say is it's just been a lot of work, a lot of things happening. So my apologies for not uploading <laughs> and then the last time i filmed i was in the process of getting my driver's license happy to report that i did get my g in february the beginning of february i think i had tried to vlog for like a week leading up to it or like after and it was just like kind of a mess but i did get my g i did do the test passed it all that was good Another thing that was happening at the time that has kind of since changed was going to grad school. So this is going to be a huge buckle up moment. We're like chilling on my bed having a whole debrief talk. But basically the last time I left you guys I was applying to schools in the UK and the plan was to be in the UK this fall. I was applying it. I applied to I think five schools. I think four in the UK and then one here in Canada. I applied to Queens and I got in to all all the schools in the UK it did not get into Queens which honestly I was kind of expecting Queens if you know is notoriously a hard school to get into here so I wasn't expecting to get in there but I was planning to go ready to go I was like cool I got into school in England and then plans kind of changed I had a lot of talks with my cousin who um just got her p not just but like a year or two ago she got her PhD and so she knows a lot about sort of the grad school process, about getting your doctorate, obviously. Just all the academia stuff that um, I did not necessarily consider before applying or like starting the application process for grad school. And so I had a lot of talks with her and after that I had decided that I was actually going to postpone grad school for another year for a number of different reasons the main one as you can imagine is money moving to the uk for school is a lot <laughs> as you can imagine and because the program's only a year i we felt like it didn't really make sense to drop all of that money for um a master's degree that may or may not be sought after here in canada or there especially with um the visa process as well there's a lot of like weird like caveats to being a visa student and being an international student and trying to get jobs and like whether or not i can stay there after because you know ultimately the goal for me is to live in london and live in england i want to like have a house there like set up a life there the whole thing and so with having being an international student it's kind of hard to determine whether or not i'll be allowed to stay whether a job will want to sponsor me like it's a whole thing so it was definitely a tough choice to make especially but i ultimately decided to postpone it this year especially because i had started my new job and although it was really busy i do like my job and also, with the job market being as terrible as it is, I didn't just want to leave it um, in the middle of like a terrible job market when I could keep working, save money, and apply for next year, which brings us to our next life update. <laughs> So because I ended up pausing my grad school decision process, I ended up reapplying for next year, so the fall of 2025. And all the schools are Canadian schools. So if you're curious, I am planning on doing a master of science in management, but with a concentration in marketing and consumer behavior. And I've now, we're in the process all summer. Me and my cousin have been kind of compiling all of my documents, getting my personal statements ready, getting my um, reference letters ready just getting everything together so that my application is sound because i think that was a huge thing last year it all was a bit last minute deciding me for me to decide to go and do my master's the, this year um i had no idea what i was doing because there's a lot of nuances to academia and applying to academic programs that people don't really tell you so we've been working all year to like get all of that sorted but yeah i'm actually excited about it i think it's probably a better choice for me financially and just in general so this is your i guess your little sign that sometimes plans change you have to pivot 
but it's okay. So that's where we're at. We've been, like I said, have been working on our application. And a part of this application, unfortunately, is doing the GRE exam. So last year in some of my videos, you saw me studying for my GRE. And as you know, last year it did not go well. <laughs> it was not good. Um, so I've been re-studying for that this year because that's still a component for a lot of these applications, unfortunately. So this year I've been studying for that exam unfortunately it's kind of a weird situation this year because like i said i am working full-time and my job is so busy this summer i have been traveling all over ontario getting pictures running a whole social campaign it's been a thing i've been going to events been like a project assistant on shoots it's been a lot on top of just like life stuff and like finding time to study finding time to like work out edit it's been a bit much so i have been studying for the gre i actually ended up taking my exam like two days ago and spoiler it did not go well either i um did improve from last year so that's good but not as much as i need and or want to so we are redoing that again um so i have rebooked my exam for november 19th so the next few weeks we are going to be grinding grinding okay but anyways figured i'll give a life update super long i'm so sorry but just wanted to say a re hello but i'm sure there'll be other things i'm gonna update you as time goes on so i'll see you guys later Remember when you're doing crunches, keep your core tight and focus on using your core to lift you up. You got this. jerk you let rory run around completely panicked thinking she lost her boyfriend's bracelet okay so it's a bit later um i was starting to do my skincare then i realized i wanted to do a face mask today and i'm gonna be using the life brand hyaluronic acid sheet mask i love this one i don't know if this is focusing i'm still trying to like figure out this camera but if not i'll like insert a clip or something but yeah so Today was really productive, honestly, it was so great. I think part of that is because I have some pretty strict social media restrictions on these days. Um, I made it so that I can only go on socials from five till eight and I only have a certain amount of time that I'm limited to certain apps and stuff, so. I really like it. Um, I don't know how I hope I'm able to maintain it, but yeah, so far, so good. We got so much done today. Hey, sorry I didn't talk to you guys today, but I was quite busy at work, but I'm going to my laser appointment right now. I'm pretty much almost there, so I'll see you guys inside, and then we'll get coffee. Oh. 
gets very long and very tedious. So what I want you to do is I want you to break 360 into its prime numbers and do this trick here. How many total factors are in 360? All right, I'll give you guys uh, two minutes here. 